Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, I'm Tanya, and for the rest of you that are continuing to come back, thank you so much. Y'all, our big announcement for this week is that we got 22, 22, yes, 22 new subscribers this week. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for, you know, browsing through YouTube and seeing this video and choosing to um, click on it and then subscribe. Thank you so much. I am excited to have you guys and I hope that you like what you see. If you're new here, I am um, just an average person. I work full time. I have two grown children and my husband, um, you know, kind of is really sweet about indulging me in my little decorating habit. He likes to pitch in too and give me his ideas. And so we're just a really good team and we love to seasonally decorate. And then um, just for any occasion, we look to, you know, decorate and change up things. So I hope that you like that. We're going to do some garden tours coming up here in the next month or so. So if that's something you're interested in, then, you know, just stick around and we'll see where this channel ends up going. Okay, so for today, you guys, <clears throat> I'm just going to do a tour of our living room, our dining room, and our foyer. Now, remember I had told you in my last video that these two, these rooms, dining room and living room, kind of are housing some things right now, so it's difficult to make, you know, those whole room shots. So, I just kind of shot the rooms in clips just to kind of show the spring decor. So, it'll be just a really quick video, and I hope you guys like it. Thanks.
Okay, so that was my dining room, my living room, and my foyer for spring. So in the dining room, I had gotten the cabbage plates and the hydrangea plates, and I knew that I wanted to change it up just a little bit in here. Now, I love pastels. I don't necessarily like them in my home. I think pinks and the purples and the blues are really pretty. Those light colors, I don't even, you know, I like them in clothes, but I don't think they look good on me. But so this was definitely out of my comfort zone decorating with the pastel colors so I kind of did the best I could now as far as all of the spring decor with the rabbits and the eggs I had all that but I just decided this year to kind of put it all in one central place so that I could keep the black and white theme going on in the other rooms and then of course we have lots of yellow and orange in my husband's yellow room now our foyer just kind of hit me the other day it really just kind of turned out like Oh, uh, was it Peter Cottontail who's always getting into Mr. McGregor's garden? That's kind of what that looks like and how that's going on, but it just turned out really cute and very traditional, and I just thought it was really fun. So, um, anyway, I hope that this has been an inspiration for you guys to get some spring decor out and to kind of step out of your comfort zone and do something different. All right, guys, so it is Monday. I hope y'all are having a fabulous Monday. Monday's actually my favorite day of the week. I know that sounds crazy, but my house is clean. I'm well rested. Laundry's done. I'm ready to tackle the week. Now, by Wednesday and Thursday, I'm really starting to kind of struggle. And then I've got my countdown going on Friday. You know, I can't wait till 2.15. <laughs> but anyway, um, you guys have a fabulous week. And I hope to get this video out in the morning. And then um, my next video is going to be a home tour, including our front porch. So you guys have a great night. And I will see y'all later in the week. Bye, y'all.